We've flirted with fascism before. They wore Hitler's uniforms, but they wrapped themselves in the American flag. But how are we seeing these images echoed in 21st century America? Well, the formula for fascism is surprisingly simple, and it gets repeated a lot. Italy and Germany, of course, but fascist movements are on the rise today in India, Myanmar, Hungary, Turkey, and right here in the United States. No matter where they come from, fascist politicians everywhere are cut from the same cloth. Fascism first takes root when politicians conjure up a faith in a mythic past, a past supposedly destroyed by liberals, feminists, and immigrants. For Mussolini, it was the Roman Empire. For Erdogan in Turkey, it's the Ottomans. Hungary's Viktor Orban rewrote the constitution with the goal of making Hungary great again. Respekten för vårt arv, för den svenska kulturen för tidigare generationer, för dem som har byggt upp det här landet. A line that sounded great to someone. Did you ever hear this before? Make America great again. Fascists create an overwhelming sense of nostalgia for a past that is racially pure, traditional, and patriarchal. From Mussolini to Hitler to Erdogan, fascist leaders position themselves as father figures and strong men. Vårt land befinner sig i ett allvarligt läge. Vårt samhälle håller på att falla isär. Vi talar samhällsfunktioner som äldreomsorg, skola, hälso- och sjukvård, socialtjänst, polis, domstolsväsende med flera visar upp riktigt allvarliga brister. As long as he and yes, it's always a he remains in power, everything is possible. Without him, the whole system collapses. I'll tell you what, if I ever got impeached, I think the market would crash. I think everybody would be very poor. Once you've got your mythic past, you need the next ingredient, division. Whether it's between Germans and Jews, Hindus and Muslims, citizens and foreigners, whites and blacks, fascists succeed by turning groups against each other. The Nazis said Jews had no value because they supposedly did no mental or physical work. In Myanmar, the Rohingya have been denounced as rapists and criminals, a line which will sound familiar to many Mexicans. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Varför är det så svårt för de här människorna att få jobb? Jo, det är för att de inte är svenska. För att de, de, är, de passar inte in i Sverige. Och det är klart att då är det svårt att få jobb. Det är klart. Man kan säga att det finns en skala från 0 till 100. I den ena änden av den skalan, de man 100 procent fullt ut människa, human. Allt vi vill lägga in i det begreppet. I den andra änden då är man 100 procent When you divide, it's easier to control. Once fascism has taken root, it spreads through propaganda, and in particular, a kind of anti-intellectualism. They can make anything bad because they are the fake, fake, disgusting news. Fascists attack the truth because truth is central to a free democracy. It's somebody's version of the truth, not the truth. Truth Asian is truth. About, I, I don't mean to go like... I, no, I it isn't truth. Truth isn't truth. You talk to you now for a few minutes ago also about the media's fail and so on. Do you feel that established media in Sweden is fake news? Is that what you try to say? In a very high degree, yes. Absolutely. In a very high degree, that's it. This environment creates a petri dish for conspiracy theories. Have you seen this symbol? At a Trump rally recently, it's a sign for a popular online conspiracy theory that the deep state is working to bring down Trump. It's not a million miles away from Viktor Orbán's wild campaigns against the global Jewish conspiracy. Nagy testű ragadozók úszkálnak a vízben. Ez itt Soros György határokon átnyúló birodalma, rengeteg pénzzel, és nemzetközi nehéz tüzérséggel. Transparency, International EM vänsterorganisation, FN, en annan vänsterorganisation, EUN också. Är som alla som kritiserar, för att bara fråga som dig, Kent Ekerot, är alla som länderna. kritiserar Viktor Orbán och, och uh, Ungern, är det, är, är det vänsterliberaler och ett vänsterliberalt etablissemang? Är det så man ska se på det? Ja, men det är helt uppenbart. Ni räknar upp det där inslaget innan FN, EU, alla de här frivilliga organisationerna som i mångt och mycket till och med sponsras av George Soros. With truth under attack and lies running wild, no one can agree on what's true anymore. And fascists love it. 
when that happens. You might think I'm trying to frighten you by making these parallels. And do you know what? I am. My parents survived the Holocaust. And my grandmother, in her memoir, wrote about how Jews in Germany didn't see the Nazi threat until it was too late. In 1937, we were still able to leave the country, she wrote. We could still live in our homes. We could still worship in our temples. We were in a ghetto, but the majority of our people were still alive. I want you to be scared, because if you're not worried about encroaching fascism in America, before long, it will start to feel normal. And when that happens, we're all in trouble.